Hello friends, welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to look into uh, a DAX function, which I rarely used. Uh, it is called as natural inner join. There are two uh, different uh, natural join um, DAX functions, but in this particular video, we're gonna look into natural inner join. I will go through um, an example where um, I use this function, but before that, um, to, to get to the problem and the solution, uh, let's take a look at that, how this function works. And then from there, uh, we will look into the problem and then see how this function will help to solve, solve this. So let's get to Power BI. I created a sample tables uh, to understand natural in a joint uh, function. And then, then we will go from there. So let's get to um, uh, Power BI. What, what I have here is a, uh, forget about all other tables. I have a table one, uh, which has ID and price. And then I have a table two, which has a ID and the quantity. So basically ID is common between these two tables. And then there is one contains price, another contains quantity. And let's say the ask is um, multiply quantity with the uh, price create another table right and um, that's that's where again there are many ways to do this but this particular video is to understand natural inner join DAX function and before I go forward let's take a, a look at the description of this function what does it says so in the description it says natural inner join left table and right table right so you give two parameters which are table so a table expression define your table on the left side and the right side and the return value will be uh, common columns it will join on and then return all the columns from both the tables. And if you look at the first one, tables are joined on common columns by name in the two tables. If the two tables have no common column names, an error is returned. So let's take a look at that based on our example data. So we have ID common in two tables, table one and table two. And let's say if we try to create a new table and let's call it a table test, whatever we're gonna give the name. So the the, the fun function is called natural inner join. So the first one is the left table. So our that will be our table one. And the second one is table two. So now what we expect is the ID is common between these two uh, table so it will join on the ID and then it will give us the ID quantity from uh, table 2 price from table 1 and then we will get three columns in this new calculated table and if I um, I'm just going to copy this and uh, if I execute this I get an error so the error says no common join column detected the join function natural join requires at least one common join column now having said that as we saw in the table, we have the ID column in both table one and table two, but it is saying that um, at least one common join column is required. So th this, it means the name of the column does not mean. And uh, let's read the, um, the, the function documentation further. Um, the sort order guarantee for the result is not um, guaranteed. So that's not relevant in our case. Columns being joined must have the same data type. Again, ID is um, same, it's a whole number in both the tables. So that's also not the issue. So this is the one which is the important part. Only column, the same source table have the same lineage. So you have to understand there are many documentations and uh, uh, blog post on the, uh, the lineage. I'm not going to talk about that. So basically have the same lineage uh, Then only you will be able to use it So what does that mean is what we need to do in this particular case is we have to have a common dimension table And then only we will be able to use natural inner join. So how will that fit into in our example here? Let's let's go back to power bi here I already have another table called uh, table ID. So this particular table is just a IDs one, two, three, right? So that's pretty much it. So what we, if we go to the relationship diagram, what we will do is table ID, we will have a relationship with the table um, ID on the ID with the table one. Table ID is assume this is a dimension table. Uh, of course, it will be one to many uh, again because our data is just a one single row and that's why we are getting this. 
but let's make it a real time how it would look like so it will be one too many single direction so that's usually is how the relationship would be and the similar what we will do for the table 2 as well okay so we have now relationship from table id with the table 1 and table 2 on the id column does that means now it will work let's let's try again so we will create a new table so still it says the column with the name of id already exists and table test table so it does not work even we have a common table defined uh, and relationship but it doesn't work and the reason behind that is because we are not using the id column from this particular table id column which is a common dimension so what would be the solution uh, what we were going to do is let's do this thing i'm going to store these uh, um let's make it a little bigger i'm going to st st store table one in a so in a variable so that would be summarize table one own id now id we're going to take it from the common table and price right so that's table one so for table two is going to be summarize table two table id uh, id and table two quantity now if i return now natural inner join between my table one and table two i expect it to work now because we have a common column because of the lineage coming from our table id column will should work so now so it works let's look at the result of the table test one um, in our view here table test one so what we have is one two three id coming from called our id dimension table and then we have a price and quantity so this means the lineage part, right? Because both are connected to the same table dimension and uh, th that's how it would work. Doesn't mean that if we have two tables and they have the same column name that it will automatically join on the name of the columns and it will work. So what does that mean is that it has to have a common lineage columns in, in the natural in the join to make it work. So now this is working perfectly fine. Again, the example here is not to get the result because we can always use id column and price and quantity we can show that but i just want to show how the natural inner join works and uh, and uh, what you need to understand about the working of this function now what i'm going to do is i'm going to um, stop this video here and in the part two video of uh, uh, i will use a example of the question posted on power bi community forum it looked very simple uh, on the surface um, but that's where i used natural inner join and triggered me to do these videos i never used it uh, in the past uh, but again before i do that video i just want to make sure that we understand how natural inner join works um, Anyhow, um, do subscribe my channel and uh, stay tuned and make sure to hit the bell icon and then for the next video, we will make and look at the practical use case of this function and uh, do check out other videos on my channel. Until next video, have a great day. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Take care.